Well, it's interesting, yeah. There were the uh, uh, Abelseth family, I, I believe, and uh, uh, the, uh, there were a number of families uh, who didn't, didn't survive. Um, and there was, uh, no, Abelseth was, a, was a, a Swedish man who jumped into a, a lifeboat. He actually was one of the last people to leave the ship and survive. And there was another family, their name also started with an A, and I think there were like four or five children, and they're uh, remembered for sort of holding hands and jumping together off the ship toward, toward the end into the, into the freezing water. Maybe, maybe because they were Swedish, they thought that they could, you know, swim back or something, because the water, you know, cold water to us is not cold water to you. But uh, no, unfortunately, the, the, uh, a lot of them were steerage uh, people uh, emigrating, and so you know they didn't really have much of a chance to get in the lifeboats. It was unfair, but you know that's one of the sad parts of the of the story. You have some Swedish lines as well in the movie. Do you remember that? Oh, that well, that's a good point. Well, yeah, we were trying to draw attention that there were people people coming from all over Europe to be on this ship. That it wasn't just a an English ship, even though it was departing from England. There were people from we show people from the Middle East, which there were Lebanese uh, um, emigrants, uh, Irish, Swedish as well. So we have the two young guys at the beginning at the beginning of the film who lose their tickets. To, uh, there's no historical basis for that. I don't even know if Swedes like to like to play poker that much. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>